Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give you a detailed synopsis on inverse Laplace transform. Here are a few elementary functions. So before going to the examinations it will be very easy to learn. See here, so inverse Laplace transform of 1 is equal to as you all know it is 1 by s. And inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus a is equal to e power at. And inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s power n s power n plus 1 can be written as t power n by n factorial. And next one is inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s square plus a square is nothing but 1 by a times of sine a d. See here inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s square minus a square is equal to 1 by a times of sine h a t. See here it is sin h a t and inverse Laplace transform of s by s square plus a square. If s is in the numerator it will be cos. If it is plus it is trigonometric functions that is cos a t. Inverse Laplace transform of s by s square minus a square is equal to cos of h a t. So these are all the elementary functions and before going to the examinations you have to make a note of it. So what is the next one is first shifting theorem. What the first shifting theorem statement states? If inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t, then see what, what the answer is. Inverse Laplace transform of f of s minus a is equal to e power a t into f of t. This is most important. Whenever you find s minus a, you have to write it in the form e power a t into f of t using the first shifting theorem. And next going to the second shifting theorem, c. If inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t, then see what is the formula? Inverse Laplace transform of e power minus a s into f of s can be written as f of t minus a for t positive greater than a and 0 if t less than a. So this is according to the second shifting theorem. If you open f of t minus a then what it will be? 1 if t greater than a and 0 if t less than a. So what it is? f of t minus a into h of t minus a. h of t minus a is nothing but heavy side. It's a heavy side function. So according to the second shifting theorem, this is the formula related. And the next one is change of scale property from inverse Laplace transform. What this change of scale property statement states? See here, the change of scale property states that if inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t then inverse Laplace transform of f of a s if the question is asked in the form of 2s, 3s, 4s like that so this theorem should be this formula is used 1 by a times of f of t by a so when comes to the derivative formula c if inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t then the derivative inverse Laplace transform of first derivative of f of s is equal to minus t times of f of t and inverse Laplace transform of double derivative of f of s is equal to plus t square into f of t. So this is the formula we have to use in the inverse Laplace transform. Next one is integrals. So depending upon the integral, if you want to find the inverse Laplace transform of f of s, which formula we have to use? That is t times of inverse Laplace transform of c, the limits s to infinity, f of s into ds. This is the formula you have to use for finding the integrals. So when it comes to the multiplication, see, if inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t then if 1s is multiplied with f of s 
then we have to derive for one time we have to derive this answer f of t for one time if it's multiplied with s square then we have to derive for two times that is the only formula see here when comes to multiplication if one is is multiplied we have to derive f of t for one time and if s square if it's multiplied for two times you have to derive for two times so that is about multiplication if comes to the division c division if inverse laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t then how about the division the inverse laplace transform of f of s by s if f of s is divided by s for one time we have to integrate between the limits 0 to t f of u into du or else f of t into dt if f of s is divided by s square for two times then you have to integrate for two times that is f of u du into du so this is the formula related to the division of inverse laplace transform next one is convolution so if comes to the convolution see if inverse if laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s and laplace transform of uh, g of t is equal to g of s then the multiplication the product the convolution product inverse laplace transform of f of s dot g of s can be written as f of t star g of t so what is this formula that is integral 0 to t f of u if i take u here i have to take t minus u there are many videos related to each and every convolution division and each and every formula so go through my previous videos and the next one is application to the ordinary differential equations these laplace transforms are very useful in solving the ordinary differential equation when it comes to the laplace transform or linear differential equation solving so these are the most important one laplace transform of y dash of t is equal to s into laplace transform of y minus y at 0 and laplace transform of y double dash is equal to if it's double dash we have to start with s square l of y minus if it if it's s for 2 it will be s into y at 0 minus y dash at 0 if it's third derivative laplace transform of third derivative can be written as s cube laplace transform of y minus s square y at 0 minus s y dash at 0 Minus y double dash at zero. These are all the formulae which are very very important and very easy to learn before the examination. So hope you all guys will practice more and keep watching my previous videos and it will be very easy before going to the examination. If you have a view at it, then you can do any kind of problem using this formulae. So thank you for watching right till the end and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. please watch my videos and leave a comment below thank you